The No Fate Channel, checking in. And today, I'm gonna be going over what's in my bag, specifically, what's in my gym bag. I know you were expecting someone else, or you thought you were getting someone else's channel, but Jerry over at Opperman Fitness and Craig and Aaron over at the Review Bros thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a mashup, a little bit of a collaboration, and go over what's in our gym bag. We've all gotten a number of emails, comments, and whatnot regarding, hey, what do you guys carry to the gym? What's your go-to pieces of equipment that you bring into the gym that you can't live without in the gym? So uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a like and a comment, and of course, head over to the NoFate 24-7 channel and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's start on the outside and we'll work our way in. I have a beautiful Merrill gym bag. Now this is a bag that I have been dying to find and I found it about six months ago and I have loved it. The reason being is you can carry it like a duffel bag, whether you carry it with the middle strap over your hand or like a duffel bag, you just throw this over your shoulder. But one of the benefits of this is you can wear it like a backpack. So it is extremely functional with regards to being able to carry it both like a duffel bag and like a backpack. Let's start over here with this pocket. And this is normally for most people where you would put your shoes and whatnot. But this is where I carry all of my drinks. I have a number of drinks that I always carry. I usually carry three drinks. So the first drink that I carry, now these are empty just for show, but the first drink that I always carry is my pre-workout, whatever is left of my pre-workout. I usually bring that in with me and I finish my pre-workout during my warm-up. The other drink that I carry is my water. I, I'm a huge believer in drinking tons and tons of water. I probably overhydrate to be fairly honest with you, but I always bring a water. And then my third and last is my intra workout, which I often consider intro slash post because I drink it half, half in the workout and half after the workout. So let's just open up the gym bag here. One of the main things that I always carry is this little cooler bag and it's insulated, but I actually use it just as a way to protect some of my valuables. I oftentimes will keep uh, keys during my workout. I keep my keys in my wallet in here. So one thing I always carry in here and I always bring to the gym is a watch to time my rest intervals. So many people think that they're taking either 30 seconds or maybe 60 seconds between sets and they start chatting with their friends and next thing you know they're at three minutes or they're in a rush and they really should be taking 60 seconds between or even 90 seconds between some of their big more, more PR sets and they're just they're just rushing through it. So I always carry a watch. Now I also always carry in here is a workout. Oftentimes I see so many people get to the gym. Sometimes this has happened to me and I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing and you just lose time. Always bring a planned workout to the gym. Even if you don't use it, you have it, you, you have it on hand. And even if you get to the gym and you, Hey, you, you meet up with one of your buddies and you end up doing something completely different. At least you started out with the right intentions. Now, this is a little bag that I use to protect my phone. This actually normally goes underneath the seat of a bike, um, but I use it to protect my phone. I know so many people bring their phones to their gym and their phone costs $1,000 and they just throw that phone around everywhere. I am the exact opposite. I wrap this thing up and make sure that it lasts. My iPhone 6 has lasted me almost five years and it is a champ. So I always protect my phone because oftentimes with my gym bag, I do tend to throw my gym bag around a little too nonchalantly. Also in here, of course, are my wireless earbuds. This is a great way to listen to music when they're earbuds that are actually in your ear. These also basically drown out a lot of sound. And if you're looking to get your workout done quickly and not chat up anybody, having earbuds in is a good way for people to not really talk to you. Also, one of the things, that, one of the tools that I use both for warming up and for cardio is a jump rope. You can get these off of Amazon. Um, these are like the CrossFit style jump ropes. I would say if you're going to bring a jump rope, invest 20 to $25, get yourself a nice one. You don't have to go overboard, but a nice jump rope is going to last you probably, I don't know, forever. This one's lasted me probably six years by now. And uh, it's, it's awesome. Just as a warm up tool, if you have to do cardio, it doesn't take much space and you can jump rope almost anywhere. So speaking of warming up, something else that I always bring um, is these little, this is a, I think, basically a hip band. There's a number of them out there. This is a hip band. I definitely use this on leg day for warming up my hip flexors and just overall warming up. Uh, I've, since I started using it, I've really enjoyed it and it's a good way, again, the older I get, the more I need to warm up and the more I need to stretch. And that's one of the tools that I use. And what's nice about it is, again, it doesn't take up much space in the gym bag. Sticking with stretching, another thing that I use is this is just a little bungee cord type thing uh, that I will use during my initial stretching and warm up um, in order to loosen up my muscles 
And again, it doesn't take up much space. It is a great functional tool that I use. And I, I said it before, I'm gonna say it again, the older I get, the more I need to stretch and warm up. I, if I don't stretch and warm up properly, my workouts are actually just garbage. So going into some of these side pockets, one of the nice things about the bag that I have is it's got these small side pockets to keep everything right where they should be. If you don't know me by now, if you haven't subscribed to the NoFay 24-7 YouTube channel, I am a hypochondriac, so I do tend to keep hand sanitizer in the gym bag just in case. If you go to a good gym, they should have hand sanitizer on site. Another thing I bring just in case is band-aids. In this bag, I've got band-aids. I also carry these little mini propels packets. Now this is just a junk hydration packet that has some electrolytes in it. These things are actual garbage, but they're good in a pinch. So whenever I forget my own stuff with me or if I ha happen to have my bag and I'm going to the gym on the go, I have these on hand just in case. I think these have been sitting in here for four months, so don't use them that often. The other thing that's in here are these little pills. This is essentially a pre-workout package in a pill form. If I happen to forget my pre-workout, if I go to the gym on the go and I don't have anything with me, I at least can pop these on the way to the gym and I know that I'm gonna be good. And because they're in pill form, they do last a lot longer than if I just dumped like a powder packet in here. All right, the other thing that I think is a must when going to the gym is a pad of paper and a pen. I, I ha happen to love my nootropic pre-workouts and oftentimes at the gym between sets, I get some fun ideas for videos or just things that I have to do in the day. And if I don't write them down, I will forget them. So I always carry a pad of paper and a pen and then in this little packet, I have my backup watch. Now, one of the things that I've said at the beginning of this video is how important it is to measure my rest intervals. If I don't have a backup watch, it, it drives me crazy. I've lost my watch before and I've had to work out without it. And using my phone just isn't the same thing. So I, I do carry a backup watch. I believe that strongly in measuring your rest intervals. Now, what's in this box? What's in the box? Stickers, okay? I always, I always carry my No Fate 24 seven and my No Trip Back stickers. So when I see people out and about, if people ask me about the channel, I can just hand them one of these stickers and it's a lot easier for them to remember youtube.com slash No Fate 24 seven with this sticker than if I tell them. Oftentimes if you tell someone your channel or your brand or your website, they're gonna forget in about two seconds. But if you hand them a sticker for free, they're more likely to remember. Huge shout out to stickerbeat.com. They have been supporting me from day one. And um, without, without these stickers, man, these stickers are so much fun. They've, they've traveled with me to every event, gym, and everywhere. Love these stickers. Huge thanks to stickerbeat.com. Okay, so here we go. Here's the side packet. Here's the most of the in-workout stuff. Once the workout gets going, what I use. First and foremost, I've got Bear Grips uh, Black Bear Wrist Wraps. So these are quick wraps. So if you're doing shrugs, if you're doing deadlifts, if you're doing like lat pull downs, stuff like that where your wrist forearms are gonna fail, your grip is gonna fail before the actual muscle that you're targeting, I use these. Now I used to use the old style that you would wrap around the bar. And I found these and absolutely love them. I actually have a whole review on them if you're interested. I'll put them in the description below, a whole review. It saves so much time having these on because you just flip them over the bar and you are good to go. Huge time saver, huge, hugely convenient, and they work great. Another thing that I have to save time are these bar clips. These are lock jaws. You can get them on Amazon for like 15 bucks for, for a pair of these. And these are to go on the ends of the barbell, obviously. One day, I think I spent at my, one of my local gyms, I spent five minutes trying to find a pair of clips that matched, and it sent me crazy. I got these, never looked back. Always bring these with me to the gym, quick on, quick off. And um, it's a huge time saver just in terms of not only having them with you, but not having to find the ones at the gym. One of the other things that I use regularly are these Bear Grips wrist wraps. These are the extra strength versions. Again, I did a, different, I did a review on these. I really like them. I, I've got, my wrists are okay, but if I'm working out heavy and I'm going hard in the gym, my wrists are probably gonna be the first things to fail and they'll start aching if I don't wear these, especially on certain exercises. Really enjoy these. These have held up really well. The only thing I would say is don't get white because they are going to look dirtier than they really are. Um, definitely go with the black ones. But huge fan of wearing wrist wraps and huge thanks to Black Bear because they, they're local to Massachusetts and they make some good products. Now, last thing that I have in here dun, 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 is, now this has been with me for nearly 10 years, is my gymboss.com gym boss. Now this is a great way if you are into circuits, if you're into CrossFit, if you're into multiple circuits at once. This is a great tool. It costs about $20 on Amazon. I've had it for so long. 
and I use it with my battle ropes, I use it with shadow boxing, and I use it with hitting the heavy bag, any type of circuits whatsoever. I use this because it lets you set up intervals. Um, and I know a lot of you millennials probably have apps on your phone that let you do the same thing, but I like having this little device because it's a bruiser. I can throw it around, it makes a loud beep, and uh, it's, it's worked for me for years. And so it's one of the things that I use, especially at the end of my workouts when I'm doing intervals. That's my go-to. So that is everything I have in my gym bag. I try to keep it as light as possible, bringing just what I need so that I'm not lugging extra equipment back and forth to the gym like a crazy person. If you use any of these items, hey, drop it in the comment below. Let me know I am not crazy. I am not the only one bringing this much stuff to the gym. You know what time it is now. Head over to youtube.com slash nofate247 and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at nofate247, same on Twitter. Listen, if you came this far in the video, then you know the content that I'm producing is legit and you need to subscribe. Also, make sure you make, make a point to go over, check out Jerry Opperman Fitness, his version of this video, as well as Craig and Aaron, the review bros. We're having fun doing these collaborations. And if you want to see more collaborations for the three of us or other channels similar to ours, make sure you were dropping comments that you like these videos and you want to see more of them. If you came this far in the video, you know what to do. Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button as usual. Thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. Hello everyone, a massive thank you to you all for watching along and a massive thank you to NoFake247 for taking us on his channel and also Opperman Fitness for allowing us to be on your channel too. Hello to all your subscribers out there. We are the Review Bros all the way over from the UK and we are joining in today on the What's In Our Gym Bags session. So um, without no further ado, because we'd like to get shit done quick, mm. we're just going to pick a bit out of each and give it a quick explanation and, you know, why we bring it. But let's get into it. My trusty um, knee wraps. Obviously, I keep these on uh, back up for very, very heavy sets of leg press or squats. Um, I've got the other one somewhere in there. Our gym bags are a massive, massive mess, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, knee wraps. Um, are essential. We like to, especially when you're going heavy, um, you know, you're six rep and under, that's where you want to wrap up for preventative measures. You don't want to... Don't want knees popping. That's it. Only muscle bellies, baby, please. Mm. Go on, you don't. All right, I have got my trusty weight belt uh, from Joe Weaver himself. Believe it or not, my dad used this back in like the 80s and it's still going strong to this day. And uh, depending mm. on whether I'm bulking or cutting, you know, I can adjust these treatments from there for there. Self-explanatory, you know, I use this for the deadlifting, squats, any real compound heavy movements, and a central part of a gym bag. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I'm just going to rip out all my supplements because they all sit on the top. And I really do just mix and match day to day as to what I feel. So I've got some in-caged by caged muscles, some, you know, intra-carbs and fueled BCAAs. <laughs> I've got my Gainerade by Alpha Lion, very nice. It tastes cute. Um, I've got a heavy hitting Anarchy Labs Assassin pre workout as a backup. Um, you know, look, look at this is what I mean by subs galore. I've got Bucked Up uh, Racked, they are really nice yeah. as well, that's BCAAs. I've got the Magnitude uh, Life Sciences Interstellar BCAAs, you know, another one. I've got another caged muscle, uh, hydro, hydro charge, you know, it's got uh, electrolytes and um, hydration ingredients in there. Keeping on going with the BCAA front, I've got <laughs> Beat and Court Nutrition's um, Tropical BCAAs. These are very nice. They're not too strong to take with a strong pre-workout. Yeah. They're just um, very natural tasting. Um, and I think this might be it. I have also got Overdrive Nutrition's BCAAs in Blue Raspberry, and that doesn't really taste like Blue Raspberry, but it is really nice. nice. Yeah, all of them taste banging, hence why they're in our Yeah. They mix and match. So yeah, exactly, keeping it, keeping it fresh. I don't like to stick into one whole tub of BCAAs forevermore. And on that line, I might as well get my uh, bits out. I've not got as much as I because we train together most of the time anyway, but I've got the BCAAs by Pro Subs, the bad boys who bring you Jacqueline Hyde, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, so very nice tasting. That is dragon fruit, so not a flavour that you see too often. I've got Intel Nutra's one here, uh, ocean water, not too bad. You know, it's not as good as we thought it was going to be, but you know, not the worst. And I think that's all I've got in mind, you know? Yeah. That's so yeah, we're quite obviously big on the supplements. I'll be very honest with you, I don't think they're that important, you know the BCAAs. If you're lacking BCAAs, then you probably need to just have a look at your diet. In fact, definitely do. Yeah. We just like them because they're fun, they taste nice, and we both of us will agree we don't like water. No. Moving on, similar to Optimum Fitness, we have a blue slingshot, a trusty blue. Uh, this is actually the weakest one, um, but we do find that it helps correct your form with benching. It's a good laugh to do every now and again. Um, you know, it only helps you at the bottom third of a rep. Yeah, so, um, break through plateaus. Yeah, and it just gives you that um, security feel when benching. So um, we like using the slingshot. We do also have the red one. Have you got that with you? Yeah, yeah. it's the powerful one. Not the strongest one, but a level up from that one. Got this from Body Power, I believe. But yeah, same story, very nice. Yeah. Then we have trusty wrist wraps. These are probably my number one used piece of equipment. Um, simply being on back days, we're not here to train our forearms or our grip, we're here to rip our back to shreds. So we just use these just to eliminate the grip factors that, that come with heavy rowing that's continuously. And on that note, I will, at this point, whack out the old liquid chalk, which again, plays into a similar role as the as the wrist straps, so if you don't want to use wrist straps, whack this on, nearly as good, you know, I'd say 60-70% as good, um, but yeah, yeah get definitely recommend it because it's very cheap, you know, fiver or like six, seven dollars, eight dollars, and we much. like benching with it as well. Yeah, stop your hands sliding all over the shop. Are these ones are my knee sleeves, I put these on instead of the, the knee wraps as they are much quicker, you just yeah. drag them on, these are actually triple ply, so they are the thickest ones. I've got double ply. But yes, yeah, so these are from Strength Shop. I do fully recommend these. They cost me about 30, 35 quid, but um, I really enjoy using them, so um, definitely. And they're not as constrictive as the uh, wraps. So if you, know, if you want a happy medium, you don't want to go raw, but you don't want to go full berserk over the wraps, this is your middle halfway point, very nice, very convenient. Absolutely. Uh, next up we have the wrist wraps. These actually came from dedicated nutrition for heavy bench pressing, heavy shoulder pressing, anything heavy that, that could put your wrist at a vulnerable position. Your wrist, wrist at risk, wrist at risk. But yeah, we don't often use them, but um, if we ever have a slight wrist injury or um, we go extremely heavy on benching, um, you know, four or five pounds plus, which we often do, um, <laughs> That's warm. That's um, you know that's when we will just use them just for the more for the sake of it. But also, like I mentioned with knee wraps, the uh, preventative injury method. Absolutely, and again on that same sort of note, we've got the same thing for the elbow. So again, benching, shoulder pressing, injury prevention. You know, just to give you that extra pick, extra peace of mind and yours comfort. A, yours are double ply. Yeah. I haven't got mine in my gym bag right now, but I have some single ply, some really thin ones that I just put on real quick. Again. Elbows, elbow health. You know it. Um, that pretty much wraps up what I've got in my gym bag. I have more wrist wraps as backup. Newspaper to, newspaper to read between sets. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? What, the hell? what is that doing in there? Well, page three girls, no, I'm joking. Yeah. That's been in there for ages. Oh, and actually, tell a lie, I have this, and this is not gym related, but it is at the same time, and you'll see why. So it's sex related. Yeah, and come up to the camera. So it is a, um, what do you call this, Craig? A buckle. One of those, <laughs> one of those ones that threads through and holds it in place. Now the reason I have this, you may be asking, is um, on... Can I set dick machines? Yes. Certain exercises, certain hammer strength machines, they push your lower body out of place. Um, dips being a good one. Um, there are some other ones that do, and I can't remember off the top of my head. Shoulder yeah. pressing yeah. sometimes, but I literally put this under the seat. Even hamstring curl. Yeah, hamstring curl is a good one. Yeah. Or leg press even, just to yeah. keep your waist right in the, in the, in solid position. Yeah. And then simply just wrap it up and tighten it, and your body, your uh, waist is going to stay 100% still. 100. 
Uh, yeah. Um, another thing, we've got our trusty logbook. We actually haven't used this in a long time, but um, this is good if you're starting to get bored of your training and plateau and you're losing you know, track of where you are, get one of these, you know, note down what you're getting for each weight, how many reps, and, and this is a good way to track progressive overload, all of that good shit. So, I haven't used it in a while, but it does come in handy. Uh, and now the last thing, because I'm a cheap bastard, um, I've got these. Now, these are not actual AirPods. These are called black pods, they're the, exactly the same. Oh, they're in my pocket. But they, uh, they actually work really well for like a third of the price. Maybe even more, less than that, but yeah, they are actually surprisingly good. And music, we would argue, is probably one of the most important things for us personally. You know, it gets in the zone, similar to pre-workout. It's so, an yeah. important thing for anyone. And you've got real AirPods. Yeah. Oh, and one other thing, interestingly, we, we tend to use these when we do strength training when we're oh, yeah. through the winter, you know, early months of the year, is the smelling salts. Crack it, sniff it, bang it. Well, yeah, what is it? It's, um, oh, what's it what's called? Word? Like a uh, pheromone, isn't it? <laughs> you know what we're talking about. Yeah. What's that word? E, you put not. Yeah. It just gives you an adrenaline rush, but there's a, there's a word for it that's going to annoy you. Like a menthol, but I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. and I'll never forget the time at that kid where you sniffed it out of a pot and it went straight to your brain and almost knocked you out. Ammonia. That's it. Yeah. Ammonia. Not pneumonia. Yeah, so um, it, like Frank said, a good laugh, and if you're really going mental with a mega heavy squat, mega yeah. heavy bench, or dead. For PRs, you know, one to three rep maxes, is that shit. Is that something else? Oh, right? No, it doesn't, and I'll tell you why. We've got the, uh, the little snout thing that goes into your bottles to help you get your pre-workout in a BCA. Yeah. And it does get more interesting than that. <laughs> oh, it does. Uh, a spoon to stir stuff. There's <laughs> <laughs> something really important that I've got in here that I've I keep forgetting that. You should see yeah. the boot of my car. That's where my gym bag is. The boot of my car is more my gym bag. Guys, so, uh, this is the most important thing. The tape. <laughs> All right, for more than one reason. <laughs> <laughs> You know, is that long enough? That's only like 60 inches. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that'll do it. Um, but yeah, bicep measuring after that that juicy pump. Yeah. Eight hour arm workout. Yeah. I think that does sum it up. You know, we've got different versions of things, you know, fuck comes, wrist wraps, but yeah, all sorts of things. Yeah, guys, so as you can see, we like uh, having a good uh, play around in the gym. Um, and that really sums up our. Um, our gym bag contents. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you for watching along. Do subscribe to us because normally, obviously, we do pre workout reviews and we might from time to time touch on BCAA, sleep aids, yeah. intra workouts, protein powders, anything supplements. So, um, we would appreciate a subscription from you guys. And uh, obviously, as always, thank you for watching along. Yeah, thanks, guys. And the most important thing is stay stimmed. And on to you, no fake two four seven and Offerman Fitness. What's going on, everybody? It's Barman Fitness, aka Hashtag Gains. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram and Opperman Fitness, and follow my band Divided Dimension on Spotify. All this shit will be in the description box below. If you guys want to see the channel grow, give the video a thumbs up. Really would appreciate it helps the channel grow, and it doesn't cost you guys. A fucking penny. If you guys want to pick up some Opperman Fitness merch, all that shit will be in the description box below. Donate to the channel as well. Donate 50 cents, a dollar. Doesn't fucking matter. Whatever the fuck you want. Helps the channel overall. Helps me buy shit that I can review on the channel. Or overall, just support the channel. Really would appreciate it. And other than that, guys, let's get to the topic at hand. I want to thank Review Brothers and No Fate 24 7. I want to thank those brothers for um, giving me the opportunity to be on their channel. Really, uh, really appreciate if you ch uh, subscribe to everyone's channel. Subscribe to No Fate. Subscribe to fucking Review Brothers. Subscribe to my motherfucking ass. Hey, I'm not a motherfucker over here that's got a goddamn British accent. I ain't got no fucking awful Boston accent. I got that Chicago accent. Yay, I got that Chicago clean accent. I cuss more than both those guys probably cut combined. At least on my channel I do. I don't know, just what I do. I, I, I don't, just what I do, you know? I don't know. But anyways, I'm not no 424-7. I'm not Review Brothers. I'm motherfucking Hopperman Fitness. I'm motherfucking AK Hashtag Gains. Uh, consider subscribing to me. Uh, this, this, this video is gonna be about um, what's, in our, what's in our bag, you know, that we take to the gym and shit. So this is what I take to the gym. Um, let's go ahead and get to the radio. So, I'm gonna try, try, I'm gonna, try to make this fast. Got the 
You got the lock on the side, you know, lock your shit up, make sure no one steals some shit. I'm in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? People be stealing shit all the fucking time. I got my gum in the front. Bam, gum. That's my front compartment. You know what I'm saying? What else I got? That's it. That's all I got. Video's over. <laughs> in this compartment here, got the Bluetooth action. Listen to the music. By the way, I do have a band called Divided Dimension on Spotify. You can check us out on Amazon, Apple Music. It's a good time to plug my shit. I like this. Apple Music. Fucking uh, Amazon, Spotify, Apple's, Apple Music, all that shit. Divided Dimension on Spotify, all that shit. It's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Listen to it. Hard rock, metal, rock in general, metalcore, alternative rock. If you like shit like that, you're going to fucking love us. Check us out. Nice little plug. Yeah. All right. Let's get to the let's get to the juicy shit. What's in the main compartment? Yeah. I got some towel action. When I do cardio, I sweat like a motherfucker. And this, you know, dries it up. You can also use this for fucking. <laughs> you know, if you don't want to ruin the bed, you got a towel. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. All right. Got some wrist wraps. When you're benching heavy. Wrist wraps is my best friend. You know what I'm saying? I've had these motherfuckers forever. I love wrist wraps. I have two pairs. Wrist wraps, all right? If you're if you want to improve your bench, absolutely suggest getting some motherfucking wrist wraps. All right. Got a band. Yes. Some band action. So this I use this actually to put on the bench. I put it across so when I bench, I don't I don't move everywhere. I put this on the bench. But you can also use this for stretching, whatever the fuck else you want. That's what I use it for. Got a slingshot. Got a level grade four black slingshot for fucking benching. If you haven't told, if you haven't figured it out by now, I like fucking benching. Bench press level four slingshot. I also have the uh, the OG one. Where the fuck is the OG one? Here it is. Level two. Not as not as not as um uh, doesn't help you as much. You can, you can do less weight with this versus this one. This one, you can do a fuck load of weight. So I got level two, level four. I like fucking benching, guys, all right? Got my, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> I got elbow sleeves because I like benching. These are Slingshot brand as well. Fucking love these. They make you feel very secure when you're benching heavy shit. If you're ever benching heavy and you feel like you're, like you're scared of the weight, you put these bitches on, and some wrist wraps, you're like, man, I ain't even worried about it. You may not fucking get the lift, but you ain't going to feel like you're scared of it. You're going to feel very confident, very tight, very secure. You may go down and just nothing happens. That's fine. But you won't feel scared. You know what I'm saying? I got some, you know, <clears throat> some tank tops in here just in case, you know, some tank tops. You know what I'm saying? Got another towel in here. <clears throat> uh, my, my, um, my gym's kind of cheap. They don't have the clips sometimes. I gotta go all over the fucking gym to look for them. I'm like, fuck this. I went to Amazon, twelve dollars. Got some fucking clamps. You know what I'm saying? I got some clamps. Got some straps for some pulling action. I use these more for like, you know, machines. You know, pull down the lats or doing the the T bars. Keep me in control where I'm pulling. Keep me secure rather than have my grip strength. I got some strap strength. You know what I'm saying? Got this. Got some more towels. More towels. Nothing really to write home about there. And then I got some more. What else is in here? Ah, some shit just in case I need a shower after the gym, which I never really do. I always just go straight home and then shower. Um, I got more tank tops. Nothing really to write home about. Just some tank tops. That's, uh, that's pretty much all I got. That's my bag. That's everything, guys. Nothing really juicy to talk about. And, uh... Like I said, nice, quick, and easy. What's in my gym bag? That's what's in my motherfucking gym bag. So, this is going to be the end of the video. 
Um, I know I'm going to hand it off to um, No Fate 24-7 or I'm going to hand it off to Review Brothers. But either way, I want to thank both those motherfuckers for having me on their channel. And this is going to be a collab effort. All three of us are going to be on all three of each other's channels. So check out the motherfucking Review Bros over in the UK. Check out the motherfucking No Fate 24-7 in motherfucking Boston. And check out my motherfucking ass in Chicago. I say Chicago. I'm actually like an hour away from Chicago. I'm actually in the fucking sticks, to be honest with you. I'm, fucking there's cornfields everywhere. I'm in my car, there's cornfields everywhere. I'm not really in Chicago, I just say it so that way you motherfuckers know where the fuck I'm at. Because no one knows fucking Northwest Indiana, no one knows Indiana, I just say Chicago because it's an hour away. So anyways, so we made it to the end, subscribe to all three of our channels, and other than that guys, really appreciate it uh, if you check out all of us out. Really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up button. Go to all three of our channels. Check out all three of our videos. Give them all likes. Share them. Love them. Do whatever the fuck you want with them. And that's going to be pretty much it. Thanks for the support as always. Let me know what you want to see next. And if you don't like it too fucking bad, subscribe, share, like, and comment below. Let's go for troll. And I'm because the fuck is a whoa. Don't forget to follow me on all social media. I'm for this. Facebook, I'm for this. Snapchat, I'm for this. Instagram, I'm for this. Over like my band page, Divided Dimension on Facebook. Follow my band, Divided Dimension on Spotify. And other than that, guys, thanks for supporting all three of our channels. And I'll check you guys later. I am dedicated to helping you dads be great parents to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I post tips and tricks to save you dads time, energy, and money. Three things that are in short supply for every dad out there.